Standard Solutions. Add-on Desired. Hello, welcome to Adult Solution. My name is Sri Devi. Subject Biology. Today's topic, Chapter Two, Microorganism Part One. The World of Microorganisms, Part One. Right. So when we we see lot of changes in our uh, surroundings, which will be happening, right? So when we enter into the kitchen, what we'll see? Sometimes the food is left to food. we observe that is spoiled sometimes if we not keep some food items in the refrigerator we left outside in the kitchen it will get spoiled so why do these things will happen even milk if you take milk milk converts into curd so what are the reasons for changing happening the changes of these such substances and also when we wake up early in the morning without uh, when before washing our mouth we get a bad smell from our mouth so all these things how do they happen these are happening with the because of microorganisms what are microorganisms microorganisms are the tiny living organisms we cannot see them with our naked eye those are called microorganisms micro means very small very very small tiny we can and organisms means living we cannot see them with our naked eye those are called microorganisms then who discovered these microorganisms right antony von leeuwenhoek okay what he did he is a scientist antony von leeuwenhoek he is a scientist and he is having a curiosity of making magnifying glasses and he used to observe many things different things in that way he started making of magnifying lenses and after that it leads to developing of powerful microscope so with the help of microscope only we are able to see microorganisms right so antony von leeuwenhoek in 1674 he observed the living bodies moving particles in a in a a drop of water he he collected a drop of water from pond he collected a drop of water from the pond and started observing it with simple magnifying glass this is simple magnifying glass right and then he named it as a and he observed some uh, moving particles those he named it as a animal culis he named it as a animal culis right so then later they are named as a bacteria later these animal culis are named as a bacteria after invention of this bacteria other microorganisms are invented and also powerful microscopes also invented discovered next microorganisms we see different organisms we see different my organisms those are like bacteria coccus bacillus and lactobacillus these are the few bacteria next penicillium rhizophus asparagus are belongs to fungi right next amoeba paramecium verticella are the few organisms that we cannot see with the with our naked eye but we can see with through micro microscope by using microscope next few are the examples here so like chlamydomonas pyrogyra diatom spirulina irogonium ceratium okay these are the few organisms microorganisms and few more cyclops daphnia scape mites eyelashes some more microorganisms these are the different organisms which which are there in our surroundings which we cannot see them with our naked eye they can seen only through microscope okay so 
microorganisms are in group now we can understand microorganisms are in groups so so groups of how many groups are there there are four groups algae bacteria types of or groups of microorganisms microorganisms are divided into four groups algae bacteria fungi protozoans protozoa okay these are the four groups of microorganisms just now we have seen them pictures of the microorganisms so these are the pictures of uh, micro arthropods actually these are the algae different types of algae and then these are the protozoans which live in the water we cannot see them and these are the groups of fungi next these are the different types of bacteria so microorganisms are divided into four groups bacteria algae fungi protozoans now first activity 1 microorganisms in water we can collect pond water and then take a drop of water in it and put it on a slide and observe under the microscope previous in previous chapter we learnt about uh, the parts of microorganisms and the uses of those parts also right how to use the microscope and all right so with the help of microscope when we observe we observe different types of living organ living particles which are moving and they are also named right first we observe the fungi how can we observe the fungi okay for example if you take a, a bread okay and leave, take the bread a slice of a bread and put it in a warm place without covering and uh, sprinkle little few drops on it and then leave it for one or two days then you will observe a black powdery part or the substances appear on it that is called that powdery part when you placed on a slide and then cover it with a cover slide cover cover slip and then observe under the microscope it appears in this way okay it appears in this way so we can see with the help of microorganism with the help of microscope fungi even fungi are also there are uh, we can see some fungi are naked nakedly we can see without with our eye right so those fungi are like uh, umbrella like structures umbrella like structures we observe where we observe on a uh, rotten rotten waste which are dumped okay during rainy season especially during rainy season so this uh, rotten waste which are dumped outside on those these fungi will grow uh, a small umbrella like structures will be will be uh, seen right and even on the old uh, bark of a plant bark old barks okay even on the wooden planks old wooden planks also edges of those also we'll see the uh, umbrella like outgrowths right so apart from this there are microscopic fungi okay they are unicellular even yeast also come under here yeast also example for fungi okay which is one celled in structure so and then bread mold we call it as a bread mold or rhizophus bread mold it is also called as a rhizophus in this way we can observe the rhizophus next observing bacteria how can we observe the bacteria so bacteria are present everywhere air water in the soil everywhere bacteria are present on the skin also bacteria are present under arms also 
bacteria are present okay even in the mouth also when we wake up if we not clean our mouth when we scrap our tongue we can also collect the specimen of bacteria from our mouth also right so bacteria also present in a curd the picture showing now this is a picture of curd so curd help in the curd also bacteria are present okay how to observe that bacteria what we have to do so mostly we, we need microscope slide what we need microscope slide crystal violet a stain called crystal violet it is a strain stain right so take a, a drop of a buttermilk or a curd on a slide okay what is slide it is in a somewhat in rectangular in shape place it the place a drop of buttermilk on it right and then what we have to do you have to heat it just for few seconds 3 or 4 seconds we need to heat that slide okay with the help of lamp right and then then take it out and add crystal violet a stain called crystal violet add it on it and then leave it for some more seconds okay few more uh, minutes leave it and then take that slide and clean uh, keep it under the slow moving water from tap okay so then take that slide after uh, keeping under cleaning like somewhat slow mo um, very uh, less in washing that uh, slide not too much hard just to keep it under the running water near the tap okay suppose this is a tap just keep it under the tap and then take out that slide keep it under the microscope and observe it so you will observe this type of structures okay these structures are called lacto bacillus bacterium okay in this way we can see the bacteria which is present in the curd or the structure of bacteria the name of the bacteria which is present in the curd is called lacto bacillus no do you know so this is a now we are discussing about bacteria right so there is a, all bacteria mostly are uh, we cannot see them with our uh, unaided eye but there is one bacteria which we can able to see with our naked eye okay that bacteria name called theomargetia okay namibiensis okay theomargarita namibiensis is a bacteria which was discovered by hedy in schools okay this is a largest bacteria right now observing the algae right so when we see the just a stagnant water or a pond water some part of the pond water even in the sea also it appears greenish in color like this okay the water appears the pond water appears a greenish in the greenish layer of green color structures are covered by the pond water that those are called algae okay those are called algae there are some algae which we can able to see with our naked eye those are chara and spirogyra chara and spirogyra are the examples these algae can be seen with our naked eye but there are some algae micro algae which we cannot most of the algae are micro in nature so to observe that algae what we need we need a where we can find this anywhere in the tank water tanks okay which we fill it right or uh, near the running taps continuously the tap is leaked and the water is flowing below that we will find a, a green like structures okay so collect that sample 
and put it on the slide and observe under the microscope. You can observe a strands like structures, spiral strands like structures, those are called algae. Now, observing protozoa, how to observe the protozoa, right? What we need? We need to first make a, we need to grow the protozoa. How? Take hay, take a hay, take the hay and then put it in a water, take the beaker and add hay. What is hay? Hay is a just a dry grass, hay is a dry grass. So take that hay and put it in a glass of water or a beaker of water and leave it for, uh, just leave it. Then after 3 or 4 days, uh, take a drop of water from that uh, hay decoction, okay, and then put it on a slide, observe under the microscope, right? Cover it with cover slip and observe under the microscope. We will observe this type of structures, amoeba, paramecium, verticella. These are the protozoans, which are unicellular organisms. In this way, we can see the protozoans. Observing microarthropods. Microarthropods are present in the soil. Okay, T collect the soil from the field and add it in a water and stir it. Then collect a drop of water from it and observe under, put it on a slide, observe under the microscope. You will observe some different types of microarthropods. Okay, microarthropods are important to the soil. Why? Because they increases the soil fertility. Why? Because they increases the soil fertility. And microarthropods are not as small as bacteria, right? So they are called as a joint legged animals. They are called as a joint legged animals. So example scapes, one of the, so you can observe here a leg, legs like structure which are jointed, okay? Arthropods means like example cockroach, their legs are jointed. So microarthropods are called as a joint legged animals, right? So, but they are very tiny in nature. They also present on the skin, eyelashes, like that. They causes the, the microarthropods which are present on the skin causes skin allergy, right? Which is called scapes and it is also called as scapes mites, right? Next, observing the microorganisms. Just collecting the soil from the field and keeping in the soil, uh, take a beaker and add the soil and the water and stir it and collect a drop of water and observe it under the, put it on the slide and observe under the microscope, right? So we can observe different types of soil microorganisms also. So like bacteria, fungi, algae, etc. Okay, protozoans, bacteria, fungi, protozoans are different types of soil microorganisms. These are present in the soil, okay? And like if you take one acre, one acre of the field, in that eight inches, eight inches of the layers of the soil, eight inches, so like eight and a half, five and a half, I'm sorry, five and a half, microbes are present like algae, bacteria, I am sorry, bacteria, protozoans and fungi are present, find of tons, find of tons in 8 inches, only in one acre of the soil in the field, if you take 8 inches of the soil layers, okay, find of tons of this microorganisms are present which helps the soil increasing in the soil fertility and also uh, degrade the some dead parts of plants and animals decomposes and so that they increases the soil fertility. Next, 
so after this we have another microorganism that is called viruses okay Th that is called viruses viruses we cannot see with our naked eye they are very very smaller than microorganisms right why because only we, with the help of electron microscope we can able to see the viruses viruses are the very interesting microorganisms why because when they are outside the body they are non living when they are in the air they are non living when they entered into the plant body or a animal body or a bacteria when they enter into these organisms and en enter into an organism body they start living in the host body so when they are outside they are non living so that's why they are interesting organisms and they are also called a connecting link between living and non living things why because it is a non living when it is outside the body and viruses causes diseases okay what are those diseases like polio swine flu these are the pictures of virus okay this picture is well known that is covid virus corona virus we call actually sars we called it as a sars nowadays everyone are telling it's a corona virus picture of corona virus and this is tobo tobacco mosaic virus so viruses causes diseases it plants animals and humans also they causes diseases so what are those diseases the viral diseases called polio swine flu polio swine flu conjunctivitis smallpox chicken pox common cold aids are caused by viruses okay these are the and viruses are also present in inside the bodies of animals and plants okay they can survive any type of temperature viruses can also survive any type of temperature like very hot conditions or very cold conditions hot conditions like hot conditions like from deserts to marshy lands okay cold conditions can be any any desert is a hot place and marshy lands are very cold places right so these are the pictures of micro viruses now keywords microorganisms microscope algae bacteria fungi protozoa microarthropods virus staining so these are the keywords which you have to learn okay and you have to practice and we have learned we have learned different types of microorganisms groups of microorganisms bacteria algae protozoans and fungi and how to observe them also we have learned now once we recapitulate uh, examples for each and every microorganism so micro like a uh, algae spirogyra chara is a example and bacteria for bacteria lactobacillus is an example right and for uh, fungi and mushroom yeast are the examples bread mold rhizopus okay is also called rhizopus are the examples and we have seen the protozoans right so protozoans like amoeba paramecium are the examples these are the different groups of microorganisms are divided into different groups and their examples right and we also learned about viruses viruses are the interesting organisms which we cannot see them with our naked eye okay and only with the help of electron microscope viruses are seen right and they are link connection link between living and non living why because they, when they are outside the host body they are non living when they enter into the animal body or a plant body or a bacteria they start living and start reproducing they causes several diseases also polio chicken pox swine flu 
etc. Common cold also an example for virus, right? Thank you. Add on solutions. Add on desires.